I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we're going to make a delicious Sunday morning treat. We're going to make a coffee cake. Flat out, old school, plain and simple and delicious. Let's go see how we make this. all the ingredients and then we'll get started this is super simple and old school this is like what your grandma used to put on the breakfast table on Sunday morning after church and all you're gonna need are some simple ingredients you most likely already have in your kitchen and pantry I'm gonna need a, two sticks of butter so that's a cup of butter softened a cup of sour cream two cups of all-purpose flour a cup and a half of granulated sugar we're gonna need a tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract, along with two eggs. Now that's for the cake part. The topping part has a cup of chopped pecans, a cup of packed brown sugar, a half a stick or four tablespoons of melted butter, and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And that's all that goes in this. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is put together the, uh, the topping. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the uh, brown sugar here in my bowl. And the cinnamon. And the pecans. And just give them a good toss. And then I'm going to pour over the melted butter. And stir that in so that all the butter gets incorporated in there. And you want to get your hands in there? Nobody's going to complain about that either. Okay, now that's done. We're just going to set that aside. And then we're going to start building our cake. Bring this over here. We're going to cream together the butter and the sugar. So in that goes. All this over here out of the way. And I'm just going to use a hand mixer today to incorporate all of this stuff. So I'm going to get a little noisy and we're going to cream this butter and sugar together. All right. Now, for those of you who may not know, You'll know when your butter and sugar are properly combined when they stop looking lumpy and start looking creamy. That's why it's called creaming. So we're going to go ahead and add one egg at a time and blend that in and the other. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and scrape my bowl down really quick just so we have everything down there in the bowl. And we're going to add our sour cream. All right, now we're going to add our vanilla. Mix that in really quick. And then I'm going to add my salt my baking powder, and my flour all at one time. If it will come out. And then blend it slow, and then give it a good mix. You don't want a giant flour cloud in your face. Okay, now you just want to blend this until it is well mixed. You don't want to over mix it. And keep in mind that this is a very thick batter. It's a very tasty batter also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to give this a turn with my spatula. Mmm, that's yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to bring my pan over. I have prepared a 9 by 13 pan 
with uh, cooking oil spray. This is coconut oil spray. And we're just going to go ahead and dump this whole mess right on in there. It's not really a mess, is it? <laughs> And spread it evenly it will self level somewhat in the oven so you know you don't have to be hyper conscious of how yeah. level the yeah, whatever. <laughs> Even though you see me being that way. <laughs> okay, now, the only thing left to do is grab our topping that we made before, and I'm just gonna use my hands, so. Sprinkle it over the top. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And don't worry too much if you think you have spots where you didn't get any topping because when this bakes, it's going to kind of bake up and around that, um, that cinnamon topping and it's going to have a mind of its own anyway. So it will kind of self-level and if you have a couple of places where you don't have any topping, it's going to have topping because the cake's going to bake up through it anyway. So, all right, we're going to pop this into the oven just like that for 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean we'll be back when it's time to take it All right our coffee cake is ready to come out of the oven and now you're just going to want it to cool for 10 15 minutes before you serve this warm and we'll be back and we'll cut you a slice of this delicious old school coffee cake there you have it a delicious piece of old-fashioned sour cream coffee cake and i gotta tell you this tastes exactly like my mom used to make, and you're going to love it. I just know it. Honey, do you want to taste it? Sure. Let me get you some of this good stuff here. Mm-hmm. Mm it's good, isn't it? You can't buy that in any store. No, you sure can't. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's phenomenal. She's looking like a pocket cake. Mm. You can see how lovely the cake is. It's got a nice tight crumb to it. And it's really, really delicious. I mean, the topping has just baked right down in there, you can see. So you're going to get a delicious piece of that crispy pecan topping in every bite. So, that is how you make a delicious old school coffee cake, just like my grandmother did. I hope that you try it. I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!